Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Skull once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please hit the subscribe subscribe button. Uh, smash that notification bell for further content. Uh, leave a like, a comment, and if you want to show some appreciation, you can buy me a cup of coffee by tapping on that super thanks button at the bottom of the video. Uh, today, what we're going to do is very quickly, uh, I mean, the middle of making dinner actually <laughs> it's on the stove uh but i wanted to get in here and answer a viewer question uh and this is from manny uh so manny i hope this helps you out and i'm sure it will help out some other people too because it's it's some good uh, uh, uh information i guess so let's dive into this uh first the question was on um rotate so let's uh, first uh, grab a uh, ring rail real quick and then we'll just uh, uh, right click accept that uh, get a profile on there and we'll just go ahead and change this uh, just so we can get a little bit better look here real quick uh, at uh, stones we're going to be placing on it we'll just pick this one here real quick and then we'll just do an auto sweep on it and then hit enter uh, right click accept that uh, so we have this out here and we'll just go ahead and extract an iso curve uh the polar ray question was uh after you do the polar ray how can you adjust the depth of the stones uh, okay so i'm going to snap that there and i'm going to go ahead and select that curve uh go to my gems and i'm just going to put a few gems on there just to show this uh so, well actually i'll just put one so we can kind of show the polar array right uh so we'll bump this up something uh, not that big something like that uh and we'll just kind of uh leave it there right and then we'll hit enter uh now we want to adjust that first we want to do a polar array so you do your polar array here uh, we'll do it parametric and we'll add several stones in there just to get it uh, looking somewhat what we like or whatever okay so we've got all these out here 33 of them let's tighten them up a little bit more okay and let's go ahead and accept that and now we want to adjust them right uh if you go back to your gem right uh your original gem on curve or uh gem the original one and just hit edit it'll give you the handles to be able to adjust all of them so when we drag it down uh, you can see that it's dragging them down and if we make them bigger it will also make them bigger but the polar array will not uh, space them out right uh, only the gems on curve will space them out but you are able to go in here and grab those uh, and put them any height that you want uh, after so basically i guess let me click off this is go if you want to adjust them after you do the polar rate go back to the original stone that you put on there and just edit that one stone and they all will update uh so hopefully that will answer your question if not let me know and i'll try to explain it more in detail uh but that's kind of uh, the deal there uh okay just go back and edit that uh, original stone all right so we got that now the other question uh real quick was uh, down here i guess the snaps is not showing up for you uh so basically in order to make sure that the snaps you have a choice when you do your setup or whatever uh you can go to uh, settings here and down here at status bar uh, click on that and then you have uh, options here that you can uh uh check on or check off whichever show username oh yeah i don't have my username on there uh but the one that you're looking for i think is uh well show grid snaps uh let's see if i turn that off see it takes away all that bar uh and then if i put it back on uh it shows it back uh show super select button Oh, the super select button is right over here. The one that super select uh, all the curves or whatever. Uh, so you can, uh, but the one you want is uh, show grid snaps, right? And that'll click that box on and turn it off uh, for you. So hopefully this will answer both your questions. Uh, if not, again, like I said, just uh, leave me a comment. Uh, and uh, I'll try to uh, go more in depth to try and help you out a little. Uh, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go finish my dinner and uh, get eating here. Uh, so have a good day and good designing. Thanks very much for watching and uh, take care.